Hello everyone, this is Ashrit from Learn Digital Academy. So till now, uh, we discussed on a uh, lot more designing softwares and all, right? So like Photoshop, Illustrator and all. So in this session, uh, we'll discuss on 3D part. So what is 3D? So 3D architectural use. So how to do uh, interior and exterior design with the help of 3D. How to place a plan inside a 3D and all we'll discuss. So fine. So now you can see a beautiful interface of a 3D software. So the, uh, currently I'm using a 3ds Max. So 3ds Max is the software where we are using uh, to create architectural design. Okay. So this is a complete interface of 3ds Max. So S stands for Studio, Three Dimensional Studio Max. And this is a software from the company called Autodesk. Okay. So the top uh, is our menu things. The right hand side is our basic shapes, cameras, uh, parameters, uh, primitives and all you will get in the right hand side. So then the second line is over here the selection objects, the parenting objects, the rendering objects and the render settings. So then again in the left hand side you can see a display over here. So this display indicates uh, whatever images you are using or whatever shapes you are using. It will show you everything uh, one by one over here and this four view is our working area. So as it is a 3D, yes, so it's a three dimensional uh, viewport. So we have a three different views. So this is a top here. You can identify it's a top. You can change any port to any port. Just click on top. If you don't want top, select to bottom. If you don't want front, so you can change it to uh, left, right. Uh, anything is fine. Top view, this will be front view and this is your left view. So the thing which view you will click, the view is highlighted with the light yellow shade or orange shade. You can observe the border over here. That means that is your active port. So active view port. And the last one is your perspective. So perspective is uh, your maximum working area. So because perspective, in perspective you can rotate the things, you can check uh, whether you aligned your shapes properly or not. So most of the cases, perspective will give you a proper uh, output in a three dimensional view. Okay. So if you want to place anything in a proper uh, view ports, so make sure you need to place in a front view, top view, left view. So in these three views, if the position is proper, so by default, automatically perspective view looks clear. So make sure before checking in the perspective view, check in all other viewports. So then only uh, it will give you a proper output for your 3D shapes. So before starting, a uh, few shortcuts you need to uh, mention. Uh, you need to remember all the time. So here also universal undo uh, is control Z. So edit. So control Z is there. So that is undo. You can observe. So if you want to maximize and minimize the viewports, so here you can observe very small viewports are there. So I want to enlarge this. So press Alt W in keyboard. Alt W means maximizing and minimizing your view area. So Alt W. So select front, click Alt W, maximize, minimize any view. The selected viewport uh, will be maximized by pressing Alt W. If you want to minimize, Alt W. Okay. So then, once you're done with your work, if you want to save the work, in the left top, we have a file option, click on file. So here, if you want to create a new scene, we have a new all. So reset, uh, it will reset your all current reset settings and all, and it will take you to the default mode. So open, if you saved any of your previous works, you can open with the help of this open button. So open recent, it will show you your recent items, uh, whatever things. Uh, when you created, uh, in which folder you saved, so what kind of folder name you have given and it is in which format it will uh, showcase you. So then save, uh, save for your 3ds max format. So if you save anything, uh, it will be in dot, uh, 3ds, uh, dot, uh, 3ds format or 3ds max. So click on save, uh, it will give you a new pop-up window here you can observe 3ds max. So that indicates a max format dot max. So you can save to your older versions also like 16, 17, 18 or any other characters if you have you can save it for character versions also. So 
so by default it will be in uh, current version i am using 2019 so by default it will save in uh, version 2019 if you want to save this file in older version so after saving in a higher version if you want to open this file in a lower version make sure which version you want to open so 16 17 18 so max to max you can go uh, three version uh, back so more than that you can't able to create if you need to go back again and again so save it for 2016 so then open the same file in 2016 there you have an option again you can change it to three more version back like 15 14 13 12 and all like that you can use this so this is the option uh, where you need to save all your 3d works okay so then uh, the left hand side is also our rendering settings the right hand side i indicate uh, i mentioned you uh, basic shapes basic parameters and primitives everything you will get on screen only so in the bottom one is your timeline so timeline once uh, whenever we are working with animations and all we need to use a time line okay so uh, 3d is a huge software so in the beginning stage uh, it will take a lot of time to uh, get the interface only so make sure so just open the software switch the software so try to explore inside the software so like left hand side what you have right hand side what you have top side what you have and all so then so just ma minimize and maximize the viewport areas so by pressing alt w so like this so alt w you can observe alt w so then if you want to zoom in and zoom out so just scroll so scroll in your mouse you can scroll you can observe this one we call it as a base the grids so scroll down so it will zoom out and zoom in so if you want to rotate the viewport so in the right hand side you have one cube you can observe a cube so just click and rotate it you can observe you can rotate so exactly if you want to please any of your object in a front view means so here uh, you have an option so front so just click on front exactly it will give you a front viewport so you can use this to rotate uh, your axis or your viewport so use this see it's a top view so here it indicates now we are in a top view so you can rotate click and rotate now you are in right view so if anything goes wrong if you can't able to find the grid so in the right corner above the view cube so here you have a one small box so this box a home button so just click on that so your grids will appear exactly in front of the screen so if you're pressing this also if you can't able to find the grid press g in your keyboard so press g in your keyboard so g stands for grids okay so these are the major basic things you need to remember so scroll zoom in zoom out uh, this box you can rotate viewport or you can use alt and middle mouse uh, to uh, rotate the viewport here you can observe so to pan from one direction to another direction use only middle mouse so click on middle mouse button or scroll button and then you can move from one place to another place you can observe i am moving the viewport so viewport grid i am moving so viewport i am rotating viewport i am zooming in and zooming out so to maximize and minimize alt w so this all the basic standard uh, shortcuts you need to remember so this all how we will complete interface with uh, 3ds max i hope the session was informative we'll catch up in next session